Greetings, my name is Christopher Paisley. I'm a Philadelphia public school teacher. This is my YouTube channel, Inside White Fragility. Today, I'd like to talk about Widener University's education seminar titled, We Don't Want Them, Faculty of Color. Now, when I saw this in my inbox, my Philadelphia school district inbox, because it came to my email this morning, I saw the subject line and I had to do a double take. So I reread it and it said, We Don't Want Them, Faculty of Color. This is from Widener University. And I said, is this a typo? They must mean we do want them. Why would they say we don't want them? Isn't the push to recruit you know, diverse faculty? So I read it again. No, we don't want them. Faculty of color. Widener University. An education seminar. So I had to go in and take a closer look. So when I went through and I actually clicked on the email, it said this. Good morning. Join us on Wednesday, June 2nd at 5 p.m. for We Don't Want Them, Faculty of Color. This session will share the experiences of faculty of color, explore the benefits of a diverse faculty population, and examine what we can do to support equity in the hiring process in academia. This session will challenge administrators, faculty, and staff to think differently about how and who is recruited and hired in higher education. To register, click here. We look forward to meeting you with pride, graduate and continuing studies, Widener University. So then I said, okay, we don't want them, faculty of color. Why doesn't it say, we do want them, faculty of color? Hey, faculty of color, welcome, we want you. You know, these are things that you would think the headline would say. We want them. We're looking for you. Please, faculty of color, join us. Let's figure out how we can help diversify. We want you, That like that old military poster. You know, we want you. We want you. Come on. You know, but it didn't say that. It said the opposite. We don't want them, faculty of color. And I thought through it and I said, you know what? I understand why it's saying this. It's saying this because it's approaching this diversity and equity initiative through the lens of critical race theory and it's suggesting that the reason why we don't have enough diversity in our faculty is because of racism okay it's a racist white america it's a systemically racist country okay um this racism whether it's systemic or i don't know you you would go as far as to say it's personal you know it's because of this lens to look at look at this thing through this lens of critical race theory which de which is definitely polarizing well we don't want them faculty of color, meaning, you know, white society or, or these, you know, these universities run by whites, and, you know, a systemically racist America, we don't want them. And it kind of made me sad because I was thinking, you know what, it, it's a shame that you're going to approach it from this kind of a quasi, in a way, Marxist system. Instead of using class warfare, you use, you use race warfare, you use, you know, racial oppression to try and divide people up to get where you want to go. And it's like, I asked myself a question. I said, we don't want them. Well, who doesn't want them? I, I know these broad gener generalities are, are, are supposedly, you know, systemic racism and these things. But who specifically doesn't want them? And, and it's an honest question. I'd like to know in the title, who doesn't want them? Because as far as I know, and I've been teaching for almost 25 years, from K to 12 education to higher education, everybody I've ever talked to, um, Parents, students, administrators, you know, even when I've gone back to college and had my, got my master's degree, I went back and got another uh, certificate in counseling in college, you know, everybody I've ever talked to, everybody wants faculty of color. We all want faculty of color. We want to be diverse. We want students to feel as though they have role models and can communicate and identify and see people like them. So who in the world doesn't want this in the title, We Don't Want Them? I have no idea who doesn't want it. And the, the interesting thing is over the last 20 years, 25 years, back to the 90s, back to the 80s, we're talking 30 years, but definitely back in the last 10 to 5 years, there's been a hardcore, hardcore effort to recruit faculty of color. And if you go across the board, um, do, just do a quick internet search, a Google search, Google search recruiting faculty of color, and you'll see page after page after page after page, uh, you know, articles written from universities, articles written from educational journals, trying to do everything we can to try and find equity and try and find diversity and, and so the students can have equal representation so we can have a fair system. Here's one um, in particular, 
okay? This is from Inside Higher Ed. It says, recruiting diverse and excellent new faculty. And it breaks it all down, and it talks about the challenges, and it talks about the reasons, you know, the, the ways that we could possibly do this. So here's the opening paragraph. Search committees often express frustration about the limitations of their applicant pool. In many fields, the job applicants are not diverse in terms of race and ethnicity, and in some fields, few women apply. Departments can't hire people who don't apply. If minorities and women aren't in the pool, they can't become potential colleagues. So... Obviously, part of the problem here is the limitation of the uh, applicant pool, okay, whether that's interest, whether that's because, you know, um, the way this is set up, it's not welcoming enough, or maybe it's not making it interesting enough. You know, these are all legitimate things that you need to talk about, and these are, this is an article that explains some ways to try and solve the problem. Um, If you look at another website that I'm just going to pull up, this is from the University of Arizona, Okay, tips for for recruiting a diverse faculty. Okay, Um, preparation, review the job descriptions to ensure that it accurately reflects the duties and responsibilities for the position and the minimum and preferred qualifications. Analyze whether the qualifications are inclusive as opposed to exclusionary and whether they could be modified to incorporate a less traditional perspective. So people are bending over backwards to try and open this up, enlarging the pool. I mean, here are literally... 16 different ways to enlarge the applicant pool. And then if you go down recruiting candidates, screening candidates, there's 23 suggestions on how you can, you know, find more diverse applicants, enlarge the pool, and bring in uh, faculty of color. Here's another article from the Chronicle from the Chronicle of Higher Education, Eight Practical Sustainable Steps to a Diverse Faculty. Okay, and it goes into these different uh, steps. Okay, here is an article from the University of Oregon. It's from their Division of Equity and Inclusion, Best Practices for Improving Faculty Diversity Recruitment and Retention. Um, And it goes on. It talks about, number one, the the pipeline challenge. Okay, people are waiting. These committees and these, these, you know, recruiters are waiting, are are, are hungry for, for people of color to come through. And again, in the pipeline, there's not as many. There's many different factors for that. No one's going to deny that racism is a part of it, especially historical racism. It's going to take a long time to level the playing field. So racism, historical, and of course, partly is institutional, or people like to say systemic today. That's a part of it. But there are many, many other parts of it as well. Um, Different things that we need to address to make sure it's open and interesting and people want to apply. So, So with, I mean, and here's an interesting, another part to this. You can go to any major university or college in the United States. You could go to any major school, K to 12 school, in the United States of America, and you're probably going to find some kind of an equity or inclusion or diversity department that's been around that is doing all they can, literally bending over backwards to try and find or to be welcoming to faculty of color. And again, that's a good thing. That's great. I'm, I'm, I'm here to say that I support that, and that's a wonderful thing because we all know that people want to be around diverse people and students want to see role models and, and people who they can identify with, and it helps them learn. That's, that's based in, in evidence and data. So we go back to, to, to the advertisement of Widener University's teacher education seminar again, and it says we don't want them faculty of color. We don't want them faculty of color. And again, I'm saying to myself, why? Why are you marketing it like this? We do want them. Everybody wants them across the board. It's overwhelming how much we want people of color. But it's framed through the lens of this this critical race theory, this quasi-Marxist approach that is immediately from the very first headline, the very first subject lines, insinuating and suggesting we need more people of color and why, why don't we have enough? Well, because of systemic racism, because people don't want them, because racist whites don't want them, or whatever it is. It leaves it up to you to think about. But it's implied. We don't want them. Who doesn't want them? A racist white America or a systemically racist America. And then you go through and you look and you're trying to find these systemically racist people, these systemically racist whites, these systemically racist systems. Who doesn't want them? Where are they? And guess what? Honestly, you can't find it. You can't find it. I've been going through this all day long, Google searching, looking at these different equity uh, programs. Where are all these people that don't want faculty of color? They don't exist. So here's my suggestion to Widener University. 
have this seminar, which is great, because we do need to try and open up the applicant pool and try and make sure we, we recruit faculty of color. It's great. But instead of saying we don't want them, why don't you say we do want them? Come from a place of the glass is half full. Come from a place of welcoming and proactive and get rid of that Marxist quasi approach that's trying to insinuate there's division and there's racism and there's hatred and there's people who are trying to keep these people out. Because you know what? It doesn't work. It turns people off. And if you want to help broaden the pool and help recruit people of color, let's be positive. Let's say we do want them. We do want faculty of color.